Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and make a video to kind of talk about something that's been going on. I don't really have anywhere else to talk to, so you guys are my therapist because my therapist. Whoops, spill coffee on my desk. Because my therapist. I don't know if I want to see. Um, they basically charged me 300 bucks for missing an appointment that my insurance should have covered. And, you know, I know it's my own fault, but I, <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. I looked at the appointments and I saw February, but as it turns out, that was last year. So working off, getting up at 4 a.m. every day is like killing me. <laughs> I got shot in my teeth. Anyways, um, haven't made an update in a while. Things have just been kind of busy. Um, started working early morning and then it's just, you know, wake up or kids' bed. So, uh, that's where all my time went. <laughs> um, but anyways, a little bit before Christmas, um, I woke up and my arm was numb. So I'm like, all right, pinched another nerve again, you know, because this happened last year, around, I want to say March, for like a month, and then it went away. So I'm like, cool, pinched nerve, probably did it from lifting weights, whatever. But now it's almost February, and my arm is still numb, um, and it's different. I'll show you guys. This is my hand, and first started in these two fingers and so I was like oh I pinched the nerve back here um, but then it slowly progressed and went the whole hand numb um, and then it went all the way here now it's to my shoulder and I can't bend my fingers like well today it's a little better but usually it's like to here um, and also the muscle, there's like no muscle strength. I went to the doctor, um, and it wasn't my normal doctor. It was like the, I mean, she's okay, you know, but I guess I just, I just really wanted to make sure there's nothing in my head <laughs> and they didn't want to order a head scan. So whatever, I'm in a mood. But, um, she ordered, she referred me to a hand specialist, which I thought was weird because it's not just in my hand. Um, and then she also ordered an EMG test, which is a test of nerve for, it's not fun, but they insert a needle into the muscle to see if you can move and all that. Um, on, check my medical record to see what she said about me because <laughs> I'm nosy like that. And it said that on the physical exam, the where they um, the muscle grip or strength um, on my left hand, my good hand, it was you know four out of five, and on this hand, it was two out of five. So I'm just like, man, it's not my head. I'm really a muscle weakness. Like, can't believe it. And then I've been dropping glasses. And, you know, when I go to chop a chicken, I can't chop a chicken. Um, it's been really annoying to try to cook, so I haven't even been sticking to my diet. I guess I'm using that as an excuse, but it physically, I can't move my hand. And, uh, and you know, it, it actually hurts. Like, And then the other day I noticed I was holding a cold rotisserie chicken. Um, I couldn't feel it. And so then I put it I touched a piece of ice, I couldn't feel that. So I, like, in my fingertips, I couldn't feel it. And then the earliest I could feel, cold or hot or wet, was like down here. Ooh, I need to clean my arm. <laughs> Another thing I can't feel. Um, and then the next day after the doctor appointment, um, well, that night I got some really weird symptoms. I went to give my kids a bath and then it was like, I, it wasn't even that hot of water, but I got really dizzy and my vision blurred a little bit. 
and you know, I just, I had to get out of there and I had to make my husband come do it because I was just, I don't know what it was. And then, um, I've been getting kind of weakness all over and I do notice that I have like the tingling in my feet sometimes, but it goes away. It doesn't linger like this, you know, and, um, it's just the weirdest thing. And the next day, it was like so bad, or I thought it was better, and then I noticed it went up to my shoulder. So I was like, okay, it's getting worse, it's spreading, whatever this is. And then I noticed a little bit in this arm, and when I went to lift it, I could barely lift it, which is weird for me because I lift some heavy weights every time you... Um, and you know, I'm lifting my kids every day and that's like 30, 40 pounds. And then, um, so I asked my bariatric doctor in labs, um, we knew I was anemic and I had started iron infusion the past weekend. So I thought maybe it's just iron and a pinch nerve, who knows. And then that day I noticed it was starting in this arm and I'm just like, you know, being dramatic. I'm not going to wait around to be paralyzed. I'm going to go to the ER, whatever. So I go to the ER. They still don't want to give me a head scan. And um, they run my blood work and my hemoglobin comes back even lower. So I'm thinking, how is this possible? I just had an infusion. Like, should it be going up? And all like the red blood cells and all that is even lower. I'm just like, what is even going on? And so I messaged my hematologist and she says, you know, it should have gone up um, even slightly. <laughs> so she wants to see me back in her office to run more blood work. So like, I don't know if it's related, but I've had this iron before. It's venifer, like it's worked before. So why isn't it working now? I don't, I don't know. And so now I'm like freaking out because the whole reason that the anemia is so bad this time is the stupid birth control in my arm. It's making me have like month long periods and so now I'm just like, well I'm scheduled to have it out on the 8th but now I'm just like, somebody go over here right now and take this crap out. I will cut it out myself because <laughs> it's like I never know when the period's going to start because last time it was like I had a period for a month only a week of not having it and then it came back like 10 times heavier. <sighs> Should have got it out sooner but I guess I was just afraid. You know, I don't know. It's... But anyways, I went to the ER. They ran more, the blood work. Nothing came back abnormal. And then when he did the fall on my finger test, like my eyes were delayed. Like. I was telling myself to move my eyes, but it wasn't um, working. And he's like, oh, that's probably normal. I'm thinking, what? On what planet is that normal? Like, this is not normal for me, you know? I, I know my body. Um, and then he's like, oh, probably vitamin deficiency. It's like, what? Oh, sorry, I guess I'm getting so upset my nose is running. Anyways, and then they did a CT in the neck. He's like, well, it could be a pinch nerve. If it is, I can order a steroid. And I'm just like, I guess, you know, try. <laughs> well, I'm here for the whole freaking day. And, um, came back normal. So, then I called my doctor today. And they're like, well, we referred you to the hand specialist. So, make an appointment with them. Call them. Oh, we can't see you till you have the EMG. Are you serious? I just need a follow-up. I've been in the ER. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> like, who do I see? And then, um, so I called. I was like, I'm not waiting around for this. <laughs> like, who do I have to call to get an appointment? Like, you call the referral of specialists. Apparently they ordered the test wrong. And they referred me, like, the ortho doesn't do it. Only the neuro does it. So they have to call back and get a new referral. So... That's just where we're at on that. I snuck around and did a follow-up appointment anyway for next week. So they get to see my face whether they want to or not. You know, I made up a 
I'm just like, I'll see them for depression. <laughs> Which is true, because I have to go back because of the Lexapro. And that's another thing. I'm like, is this a side effect of my Lexapro being increased? Nobody's asked that. So I feel like I'm doing my own, <laughs> you know, differential diagnosis here. But anyways, it's weird stuff happening. I don't know what's going on. And it's starting to worry me. Like, it's really feeling numb up. Like, I can feel even getting worse today. Like, I'm just, like, I feel so helpless because it's, like, nobody knows what's wrong. They don't know how to treat it. And then, you know, like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> you know, I have three kids. Like, oof. Anyways, hopefully I have some answers soon. If anybody has ideas on their differential, feel free to let me know. Now I'm just going to go be frustrated and go back to work. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.